Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for joining and giving your valuable time and association this morning and enlightening us on the topic of Srimad Bhagavatam. Today's uh, verse is 6th Canto, 16th Chapter, 44 verse. Maharaj, I now hand over the call to you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Pull this out. Pull this out again. Yeah. Yeah. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Nahi Bhagavan Nagaditam Nidam Tadarsanam Nirnam Makila Patun Shayaha Yanama Sakrit Jarava Chakyavat Nat Um Pukaso Vivi Muchite Samarat Translation My Lord, it is not impossible for one to be immediately freed from all material contamination by seeing you. Not to speak of seeing you personally, merely by hearing the holy name of your Lordship only once, even Chandalas, men of the lowest class, are freed from all material contamination under the circumstances. Who will not be freed from material contamination? Simply by seeing you. Of course. As stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam 9516, simply by hearing the holy name of the Lord, one is immediately purified. Therefore, in this age of Kali, you know, people are very contaminated. The chapter of the holy name of the Lord is recommended as the only means of improvement. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Jayavala, Hello Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Dati Amrita. In this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is the chanting of the holy name. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. Like from the Vrihan, Maradiyap, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu introduced this chanting of the holy name 500 years ago and now through the Krishna conscious movement, the Hare Krishna movement, we are actually seeing that men who are considered to be belong to the lowest class are being delivered from sinful activity simply by hearing of the holy name of the Lord. I'm sorry, material existence is a result of sinful action. Everyone in this material world is condemned. There, is, there are different grades of prisoners. There are different grades of men. All of them in all statuses of life are suffering. Stop the suffering material existence. One must take to the Hare Krishna movement of Sankirtan or Krishna conscious life. Here it is said, Yam Namam Sakrit Chakvanath. The holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is so powerful that if even one hears once without offense, it can purify the lowest of men. Such men who are called Chandalas are less than Sudras. They are also become purified simply by hearing the holy name of the Lord, not to speak of personally seeing the Lord. From our present position, the Supreme Personality of Godhead can be personally seen as the deity in the temple. The deity of the Lord is not different from the Supreme Lord because we cannot see the Supreme Lord with our present, present one eyes. The Lord has kindly consented to come before us in the form we can see. 
Therefore, the deity in the temple should not be considered material. By offering food to the deity and by decorating and serving the deity, one gets the same result as one derives from serving the Lord personally in Vaikuntha. On the Gyan Timiram Dasya Gana Dana Savaka, Taksa Unmilitam Yena Tas, my Sri Guru Veda Maha, Sri Jaitan Yamana Bistam Stapi Tam Yena Bhutala, Vayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dagati Stam Padam Pitam, Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Kastaya Bhutala, Sri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine, Namaste, Sarah, what do you believe? The more than you could tell me, you would say, since when you arrive here, let's get to the base of time. We're going to call back to you, Jessica. We pass in the way, but yeah, we turn on the bargain, and we'll wait to be known in my own Maha. Jai Sri Krishna Jaitanya, the moon that the Ananda. Sri Advaita Gadadara Srivasari Gaur Bhakta Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare hmm. The characteristic of the spiritual realm is the nature of absolute. We're in the Lord, his form, his name, his qualities, his transcendental activities, even his pure devotees are considered to be on the same absolute platform. In other words, one can derive equal amount of benefit by coming in contact with any of these in the mood of service. That is the nature of the spiritual realm. As opposed to in this material world, this is the world of relativity. Something has some relationship with something else and it's defined in that way. There's no question of a husband without a wife. There's no question of a teacher without students. So in other words, in this world, we see things in relationship. No one can talk about hot unless we can understand the principle of coldness. Everything is in relationship. And that is the world of duality. And it's the world of constant change. Things continue to change and definitions apply. One time and then some time later, that same definition is no longer applicable. But in, in the spiritual realm or on the transcendental platform, this, this is called the uh, Antaranga Shakti. There is the Bahiranga Shakti, that's the material energy. There's the Antaranga Shakti, Shakti, which is the spiritual energy. And then there's the in between, that is the living entity in the material world, that's what we pass the Shakti. So on the Antaranga Shakti, everything is of, of the same spiritual essence. So Krishna's name was Krishna. We hear that quite often, but how much do we really understand that? We might see, well, the deity is there, and we can see the deity. So in relationship to the deity, we have an understanding that there is Krishna. But we may not be able to understand that same or even uh, accept it when it comes to something that is not perceivable, at least initially, by our senses. <laughs> but the holy name is Krishna himself. Nama Chintamani Krishna, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, Purnya Sudya Nitya Mukta, Dinna Tvam so the word binna means different, and abdinna means same. So the name, and he who is named, is not different. So sometimes people say, well, Krishna incarnated 
and in, the, in other yugas, and he came in different manifestations of himself. But where is he in this end? Actually, here in this particular dance, there two aspects of that. And he is drawing his name, and he is drawing his beauty. One time, one devotee was giving class, and she would tell if I was personally present, listening to her devotee give class. The devotee said, and Krishna is in his name. And his divine grace, she looked up, I immediately stopped him and said, where in his name is he? When the message was understood, yes, he is not in his name, he is in his name. It was a qualitative def this difference in definition. When you say something is in something, and something is the same as the substance. The person's name is Krishna. We don't have a taste for chanting the holy name. How do you get a taste for chanting the holy name? It was mentioned by service to the Vaishnava. By rendering service to the Vaishnavas, one develops a desire to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. That is the key to develop the taste. But even sometimes we still engage in Vaishnava Seva. We think that you know, Activity is more beneficial than chanting or meditation. We see that in the material world, that people define their success in life by what they do and what they what <clears throat> results they get from what they do. So they consider without doing anything, what do you get? You don't get anything. You have to do something, and you also have to achieve a certain goal in the activity. So this is called fruit of activities, which is the quality of the material energy that's in the mode of passion. And therefore, and also the devotees also think that it's more important to get things done than it is to chant the Hare Krishna And Getting things done is not necessarily the quality of success. What is, get, what is the most important thing is what is purifying or what is, what is pleasing. Therefore, of course, in activities and devotional service, we do various things and they're meant to purify us and to also elevate our consciousness to the point that we actually complete the Lord by the end of it. And that is desirable. But sometimes we think, well, I don't have time to chant because I have so many things to do. <laughs> so we relegate chanting to a lesser position in our mind, right? And we don't see it as something uh, as essential as performing activities because we can see results by activity. But the results come by chanting. And what is that result? That, that uh, one gets purified. As he says here, simply by hearing the Holy Name. This is not even chanting. This is simply by hearing. If one hears with rapt attention, in other words, it would complete absorption. And then that holy name will actually uh, bring about a consciousness that is more and more in the realm of transcendence. In other words, we get free from the dualities of the material energy. We get free from this idea that um, our happiness is based on what we have of what we do. But actually our happiness and our success in spiritual life is the consciousness we develop. We even see that within the realm of the three modes of material nature. Using that example, we see people in the, in the lower modes, such as good modes, uh, they want to get things. Their whole movement, their whole idea is to get things. And uh, so whatever they can get, that's considered their success. But when people in the mode of passion, they want to do things. So they want to get something from what they do, but they put more emphasis on doing. So in the mode of ignorance, it's more on getting, actually, what they're doing. And that's what it's simply 
mode of passion is less simple, but it is it's still within the realm of material uh, activity, as well as the relevance to them to the idea that by doing things, we can be happy in them, but by doing something. Now, the mode of goodness is more like the development of character, the person's qualities, the character, the human, and the nature. This is considered more of a success. So they could turn activity in order to become a better person. So they got a better person, they're kind of scouring the burden. More in tune with life, more in tune with nature, more in tune with living with God. But actually, when we come to real activity, we see it's about, it's about the straight down, down from the margin. It's about purifying the heart. As the heart becomes purified, one's natural consciousness starts to awaken. What is that natural consciousness? One starts to become happy by that. So in, in that happiness, one starts to realize that, yes, it is about, it's about consciousness. So, and of course, Krishna consciousness, our consciousness of the Supreme Lord. So here, the essence of the purification of consciousness is given as the Yuga Dharma, the means for self-realization in this age. And what is that? The chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. But there are two aspects to that chanting. One is kirtan and the other one is japa. So sometimes we think, yeah, I love kirtan. I like to go to kirtan. I even get involved in kirtan. I like to dance, but japa? Hmm. Boy, that's like climbing Mount Kilimanjaro with a backpack. It's so difficult. How to, how to chant japa? And I got to get up early and I'm tired. I want to stay up late and watch movies. And eat the shadam up to 11 o'clock at night. And the next morning, I try to chant Japa. I can't even see straight. And you ask me to hear nicely. So it's very, you know, what we say, it's, it seems like Japa has been the, is like a curse. <laughs> but actually, when you practice kirtan regularly and you start practicing with Japa, in a purified atmosphere, and then you start to really appreciate the chanting of the holy name. And there are devotees who really love to chant Japa, even more than they like to chant Kirtan. Of course, both are there. But um, it just shows you that once you start developing a, a taste for chanting, then that taste simply increases more and more, and one becomes eager. And then one is fixed. Because the holy name alone who has descended from the spiritual world, Olo Kira Premadana Harinam Sankritam, Ratin Jan Milo Kena Upani, that uh, this is the supreme benediction in this age, the chanting of the holy name. And it's easy, at least in principle, but making the time, making the effort, living our life that is supportive in chanting the holy name. If we are living in the modes of passion and ignorance in, in our daily activities or being afflicted by these lower moods, when it comes to chanting, it will become very difficult. So sometimes we say, and it's also a truism, that what you do the other 22 hours will impact what you do those two hours when you chant your, your prescribed number of rounds. So everything in life is supportive of what we do in our spiritual practice. And therefore, therefore, it's a holistic process. So therefore, when Srila Prabhupada would say that if you're chanting Hare Krishna and you're not following the rest of the process as given by the acharyas, especially Srila Prabhupada, then you are cooking with smoke. <laughs> and if you cook with smoke, how long does it take? 
300 years to get pregnant, <laughs> minimum. So one cannot uh, actually accomplish anything, very little, if one is not following the right. And what are the other principles that one has to follow? The principles as given that are restrictions. And therefore, Sanatana Goswami explained in the principle of saranagrati, which means to surrender to the Lord, there are things that we have to do and things that we have to avoid. And they're, they're carefully enunciated in the scriptures. And um, they must be followed clearly. And that way you get the benefit of your spiritual practice. And of course, they are also part of the spiritual practice. But one should learn that. Therefore, one has to hear regularly. Just like in worshiping the deity, you know, it's, it's a matter of consciousness how you approach that deity. If you think the deity is just uh, a representative of Krishna, that he here Krishna is not here, but he is he's here in the form of his uh, deity, but it's not really him. It's just and we, uh, just say replica of him. That is also called Arche Vishnu Siva Di Guru Shunamani Vaishnava Jati Bhuti. And the statement regarding that type of mentality is that it's materialistic. And it's simply offensive. The deity is actually Krishna himself. He is, it's called Archa Vigraha incarnation. So sometimes we think, well, the deity in the temple is more the deity and the deity in our house is not so much the deity. <laughs> but Krishna, wherever he manifests his transcendental form, according to the level of worship that one is performing, Krishna reveals himself as the Supreme Personality of God. So if we, if we have that mentality, as Krishna, as Prabhupada says, and um, but switches, he, he gives so much emphasis in the beginning to the chanting of the Hari Mata. Why does he include deity worship in this particular form? Because he understands that in Kali Yuga, people cannot chant the Holy Name. So it's not possible. <laughs> Therefore, deity worship, particularly for grihastas, those who live in family, is not only recommended, it is required. And therefore, keeping the deity at home and performing regular, simple, depending on your what you can provide, simple regular worship will help us to come to the mode of goodness which is the means by which we can chant the holy names of the Lord. Therefore, worship of the deity is worship of the Supreme Lord that is purifying. It allows us to actually become humble, develop the qualities of cleanliness, which is the fundamental principle for successful deity worship. And we, be, we offer our basis to the deity we're offering our basis to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this is called Pancharatriki Vidhi, and chanting the holy names and reading Bhagavatam, or hearing Bhagavatam is called Bhagavad Vidhi. These two vidis or processes are parallel to each other, particularly in this age of Kali, when people cannot simply approach the Bhagavad Vidhi directly. They need uh, the support of the Pancharatra Gibbani, and therefore Prabhupada said it's like two tracks in the transcendental plane. <laughs> and then if one performs a balance of both, then one will support the other. And therefore, one will start to develop real attraction for Krishna and the form of the deity. And Krishna in the form of chanting the holy names of the Lord. So it says that the, the Lord appears in the sage, both in his name and in, in his wood also. Wood refers to Jagannath, that's often mentioned. And that the Supreme Lord has personally appeared in the place in India, known as Jagannath Puri, where he was non different than Krishna and Vrindavan in the mood of serving Krishna. In the mood of separation. So this, these two processes, chanting the holy name, 
and worshiping the deity are very powerful processes. If one seriously applies the principles to these processes and remain steady, one will actually develop pure spiritual consciousness, particularly the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So you might see that um, it is mentioned that deity worship generally is for neophytes. But then again, you also see great souls, they also worship the deity. Because on that level, they have gone through that, those lower stages and have understood that Krishna and his deity are non-different. So they want to worship Krishna in that particular form. You see, um, Ramsi Das, Babaji Maharaj used to carry a deities of Gornata wherever he went. He would take them, he would bring them down to the banks of the river. He would offer them a little bit of boga, and he would also bathe them by putting them in the river and washing them. So he would take the care of the deity just like one takes care of one's dependents, children. And uh, this is an example of a great, great souls who are already purified in spiritual life. They also, they also worship the Lord in that form. But generally, for people in general, deity worship is required in order to purify them from the lower modes of passion and living and help one come to the mode of goodness, which is the stepping stone to transcendence, which means and then we can actually find happiness and success and progress in chanting the holy names of the Lord. And the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra becomes so wonderful that uh, Srila Prabhupada says when you're actually chanting, you'll think 16 rounds, why not 16,000 rounds? So one, that means one is actually tasting the happiness of the Supreme Lord in the form of his holy name. And therefore you'll find it very going to chant more and more and more. So this chanting, is the supreme mercy in this age it appears to be easy, but it's much easier in relationship to the process given. But of course, even without the process, one can make advancement in chanting the Holy Name up to a certain point. And then one has to understand that in order to go higher in that, one has to adopt the processes given by the and now we got it to his representative, the Parampara system, and especially the divine grace to the Bhagavan. Okay, so we can stop here and open it up for questions. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dhanur Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Very short and crisp and beautiful class, Maharaj. So many glories of the name, Maharaj. Certainly, Maharaj, I loved when you said uh, the difference between Kirtan and Japa. Somebody like me is not at still at stage where I feel uh, that, uh, you know, that bless in Japa. But yes, Kirtan, you know, you can dance, you can feel Kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So many, so many different, uh, different devotees. You, you, you just go ahead with Kirtan. But certainly Japa is what... Uh, keeps our mind control that's how you know we we try to we try to keep our mind uh, under control maharaj and beautiful maharaj uh, vigraha so beautifully explained maharaj about vigraha so krishna has a form and we love that form maharaj that's so true maharaj that's so true ishwara param krishna sachidananda vigraha even our uh, our shastras maharaj guru shadu and shastra all says that and we have experienced that maharaj Every time we go to some ISKCON temple and we see the deities, Maharaj, we fell in love right away with the deities. It's so beautiful, Maharaj. Thank you so much. That's so true. We all have experienced that, Maharaj. And as soon as we come out of the temple, Maharaj, and we are in material setup, the problems start again. So temple has such a beautiful aura, Maharaj. It's, it's just unbelievable how, how beautiful Srila Prabhupada has given this system to us with the temples all over the world, Maharaj. That is so, so beautiful, Maharaj. So true. There is some, certainly some special, you know, attraction and some, you know, magnetism in those deities. They just, you know, pull us toward them. So thank you so much, Maharaj. Maharaj, I see 
already a few devotees with the hand raised. Rishwa Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, Danvat Pranam. Hare Krishna, do you hear me? Yes, Prabhuji, we can hear you very loud and clear. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, uh, and Hare Krishna, dear devotees, especially some humble basis. Of course, Shri Prabhupada. Uh, I was really amazed uh, by the emphasis on the japa and speaking about how in mode of passion we are trying to achieve the task. <coughs> Even though sometimes I heard in uh, memories when the devotees were building Mayapur temple or I think Vrindavan temple, they said to Shiloh Prabhupada, Shiloh Prabhupada, I cannot chant, I cannot do anything. I'm just thinking about cement and bricks. And Shiloh Prabhupada said like, your cement and bricks are your sadhana. Uh, and that actually, actually that is bona fide. But in the sense, every day in uh, our life, in let's say in the temple, temple I'm doing now, uh, my question is, if I understood correctly, our purification by japa reading sadhana regulation and through preaching is a much more a priority over a maintenance, development, or organizing an ISCO movement to move forward externally. Is that correct? You're asking the other activities of devotional service are extensions of the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. And Srila Prabhupada would say, he would, when he would chant translation on his dictaphone, he said, this is also chanting. Why? Because it's glorification of the Supreme Lord. So we have a movement for spreading Krishna consciousness. So we require all many other activities that are supportive in, in order to do that. So these things are also transcendental. But the foundation is the chanting of the Hare Krishna. Because when the quality of chanting develops, then everything else expands nicely. Mm -hmm. Automatically. Sadhana, Seva, Sadhya. Sadhana is our hearing and chanting, reading Bhagavatam, associating with devotees, worshiping the deity, chanting the holy names. This is Sadhana. Our service is the activities that the spiritual master uh, offers for you to get, become humble and purified. And without doing Seva, you won't be able to maintain yourself in the chanting for some time. You'll think the chanting is just a burden. The seva will, is, is in a, it will purify you in the sense that you develop the qualities and then you can chant more and chant with better, um, with more, more and more purified. But on the higher level, as the chanting and the service goes, when we see that people come to the point of just chanting, that's it. The great souls do that. So the Hari Das was chanting, you know, 333,333 moans every day. He was also preaching Krishna consciousness. But he, he is known for his, you know, he was Namacharya. But we can't imitate. You have to act according to the level of your spiritual practice. And so generally, we accept service activity uh, along with our sadhana, and both of these support our spiritual advancement. Okay. You can't cut and paste, you have to accept the whole process. So, if, if I, yes, yes, ma'am, sorry. So if I'm, I'm trying to chant and I have a different thoughts so, or, oh, I'm going to do this service or do this, or I would like to do this like that. But actually this is uh, inauspicious. You should actually, when you chant, nothing, nothing else exists except chanting. You should pay attention. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Attention. You know, once you pay attention to the chanting, in other words, once you chant with the, with the, the ability to hear. Chanting means hearing. Hearing means concentrating on the sound. So you shouldn't be doing anything else. Not that you are a right-handed chanter and a left-handed texter. You know? you got, you got the left hand for texting and we got the right hand for chanting. <laughs> Mm 
Just a few minutes. Yes. Thank you. And it's, 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 the principle is this japa meditation. Therefore, as much as we can acquiesce attention, that will bring the quality of our chanting. Therefore, we say just here, bring all your attention into the sound of being. When the mind wanders, Sanchala Himara Krishna, you bring it back. It wanders again, you bring it back. Just bring it back to the sound. That's all. Create an environment where distraction is, is minimized to even to the point of nil. It's not like you take your job and you drive your car at the same time. No. You can do that, but you can't count those as rounds. When it comes to our prescribed rounds, that has to be done completely with full concentration. Attention. Let's see, this is the mode of passion, and this is the mode of, of Kali Yuga. We have so many things to do. We're always trying to, what we say, multi You can't multitask when you can't drop it. <laughs> not going to work. You know, you're not going to get and, and it's offensive also. So purity is more important. That's kind of... Purity is the goal. Purity is the, the mood of activity, and purity is also the goal of the activity. Pure in action and remove pure in consciousness. Without pure in action, you can't be pure in consciousness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji, for asking that beautiful question. Thank you, Maharaj. Very beautiful explain, Maharaj. Certainly. When we chant, but we, most of us are like that, Maharaj, our mind wanders. And the other day I was listening to a Maharaj, uh, a podcast where, uh, where another um, very, very great devotee was explaining different modes, how we chant. And one of the modes was Maharaj, the, the motorcycle Japa, the, you know, the Harley Davidson, like, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. You know, Maharaj, we, when we chant, sometimes we just go into different tunes and modes. So that was... Uh, Kind of a very good answer, Maharaj, from you. Awakening. We should be concentrating on what we are, uh, what we are uh, at least, you know, saying Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So nicely we can concentrate on Japa Maharaj and bring our mind back. So thank you, Maharaj, for uh, explaining that. Hare Krishna, Shiv Kumar Prabhu Ji, Danwad Pranam. Hare Krishna Prabhu, then our thoughts Prabhu. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances to your Lord's feet. Uh, Maharaj, my question from today's class is um, we understand Lord's form is Sachit Ananda Vigraha, and uh, uh, we also see repeated slohas throughout Bahodam Maharaj that Krishna cannot be perceived through material senses. And at the same time, uh, we uh, hear and understand the deity is non different from Krishna. So I just wanted to understand how do we kind of reconcile these two understandings now? Well, we have to accept the words that come from Shastra. And Shastra is the word of Krishna explaining what is the reality. So you may not be able to uh, understand that Krishna is non-different, but we accept it because it's given to us by Krishna himself and by the supreme, you know, spiritual masters. And then when you practice, you apply that understanding that here is Krishna. Prabhupada used to say that when you're with the deity, you should take this as Krishna, not just some statue or some representative, but Krishna personally. So you, if you don't apply the theoretical principle of the reality, then the reality will never manifest. 
you have to understand the holy name is non different than Krishna. The, uh, we may not understand it, but we have to accept it in principle and act in that way also. It's like, for instance, we see each other. But what are we seeing? We see each other's body. But we know that person is not the body. The actual person is the soul. So we, we sometimes we relate to people on the spiritual level. Sometimes we relate to that same person according to the body. So the consciousness is Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahmagavi Hastani Suni Chaivas Pupakecha Pandita Samadarshana. One who actually sees, sees that all living beings are actually spirit souls part and parcel of Krishna. Still, we deal with the external environment in order to carry on activities. But still, <laughs> we have to see what is actually the reality, and that is called Shastra Chakshus, that's seeing through knowledge and not seeing through these two little balls we call the only I don't think I can do that. Doesn't matter. Okay. So apply the truth to the activity, and the truth will gradually start to develop as you perform the activity. Thank you, Mahmoud. Krishna. When you approach the holy name, you think this is Radha and Krishna in the form of transcendental sign. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. So true, Maharaj. So true. When you said when we see each other, actually, it's the consciousness, you know, that uh, is alive in us. When the consciousness is not there, Maharaj, then we are, you know, just a lump of uh, material, which will be, you know, not even liked by the same family members. They will say, oh, take him. they will say, oh, take him away. He is not more there. You know, who loves us? It is the consciousness. So it is actually Krishna inside. Who is being loved by everyone, Maharaj? So true, Maharaj. So true. Very beautiful answer, Maharaj. Maharaj, clarifying. <laughs> oh no, Maharaj. Thank you for 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 actually bringing that up, right, Maharaj? So that's how we learn from our sadhus, Maharaj. Thank you for your association, Maharaj. Maharaj, there is our very dear Prabhu, Subramanya Krishna Prabhu, uh, Sukagara Krishna Prabhu ji. Prabhuji, your name is Subramaniam. Your original name, you should put Sukhakara Krishna. That yeah, name yeah. is beautiful. That name is very beautiful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are, no, no, no. Thank you. Association. Thank you, Raj Prabhu. Uh, thank you, uh, Chandra Mali Vishwai Maharaj. You are also such a great devotee. When I see you, I can see Prabhupada sitting in front of me. And your Vani is Prabhupada's Vani. Maharaj, I want one uh, answer. See, in the... the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the Srila Rupa Goswami has given 64 angas for bhakti. Out of that, the five angas, the most important one is chanting the holy name, then Nityam Bhagavata Sevya, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Association of Devotees, Sadhu Sangha, Mathura Vas, and uh, Archa Vigraha, that is the deity worship. So, out of the five worship, what I find is Srimad Bhagavatam, when I'm hearing Bhakti Sangha, I feel so happy, so nice reading, understanding, hearing Katha, the videos and all are so nice. And uh, also we are doing Archa Vigraha, doing Aarti is so nice. Association also is very nice, like Raj Prabhu and all, all devotees are so good. And Mathura was also when you go, it's fine. But chanting that taste is not coming like hearing Bhagavatam. Chanting is coming like something, oh, test, but it is not coming like for Bhagavatam, I wait. Oh, today Bhakti Sangha, afternoon 4.50, I have to attend this one, evening, Chaitanya Bhagavata. But chanting is coming by 4. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. It is coming as a sort of mechanical thing, <coughs> not coming the taste. Because Trinadha Pisuni Chena Saro Rapisai, Namani Namani Na Kirtaniya Sadhari. The Kirtaniya Sadhari is not coming. I don't know whether something is happening, whether uh, not big, big, properly humble or not able to tolerate or not giving man and expecting man. All those things, trying our best, but still the Kirtanaya Sadhari is not happening and the religiousness is not coming. Or that we, we will, 
Can you bless you, you, have to do, you have to do a little evaluation. Why is it not coming? Is it because I'm maybe committing offenses to devotees? Or maybe I'm um, sleepy? Maybe I'm, uh, you know, what else? There's different things that may affect the quality of our chanting. Although we are nicely connected to the other act, other processes. So mm, there's books. There's a nice little book by by uh, Mahatma. Mahatma makes his the whole devotional life traveling around, teaching people how to chant Hare Krishna. Well, he made a little book called the Twenty Affirmations <laughs> that one can apply to the chanting of the Holy Name, and those twenty affirmations are quite uh, clear on how we can develop a mindset prior to chanting and during the chanting. So it's a nice exercise to either read one or two of them before you begin chanting every day. Meditate on that particular affirmation. An affirmation is an absolute principle that says by doing this, I, but I will do this. I will do this. And I'll give you an example of one of them. You you speak, and based on the speaking, it gives you the actual result in the terms of the word. For instance, one of the affirm affirmations he says, "I want to chant. I and I no. I get to chant. I want to chant. I love to chant." So by saying that, I get to chant. Hey, it's it's a privilege. This is the mercy of the, the Lord and the spiritual masters. I want to chant. Yeah, I'm eager for that chant. And not only that, but I really love to chant. You may not feel like that, but apply these, uh, apply these principles, and that helps to develop the consciousness when you're chanting. And that's just one example. So, um, chanting is not so easy as you know because it is Krishna himself and therefore you have to really apply the proper consciousness when we approach the holy name so that that application of the proper consciousness is something that we have to work on okay and we have to get away from one really Deadly anartha trying to finish. The line. <laughs> I got to get them done because life begin, begins after the 16th, not before. <laughs> now, Maharaj, Maharaj, you just want to know one thing. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. So I have just decided that every one hour I'm just telling, oh, Krishna. I am so fallen. Please help me. I am yours. I am trying my best to remember you. So please help me to remember you. Again at 9 o'clock. Hare Krishna. Krishna, thank you very much for everything. I am trying everything to bring you in the center. Please allow me to remember you. I am fallen. Please allow me to not do any apparatus. Again 10 o'clock. Hare Krishna. I just take one, just 10 seconds or 20 seconds just doing this. So I found some sort of, at least I am seeing the watch to, to think Krishna and tell that affirmation. So I just want to know your blessing and advice whether it is okay that I, every one of our, whatever I am doing, wherever I am, I am just telling thanks to Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you Krishna for allowing me to remember you. So like that I will make it every half an hour, every 15 minutes, every 10 minutes so that it will make me to just think of, so I will wait for next 15 minutes to come again then. So I don't know whether you approve this, is it okay? Sounds good to me. Is it working for you? Yeah, it's slowly from today. I started every one hour. I want to make it every half an hour, then 15 minutes like that, so that I want to just think of tell, thanking gratitude as I'm trying. Yeah. Just wanted, yeah. I think it's a very good exercise because it's in relationship to our our actual identity <laughs> as Krishna's eternal servant. Because yes. you are a pure devotee, when I 
get sanction from the pure devotee. That is, Krishna is telling us. That's why I'm asking you, Maharaj. Well, I think you should get sanction from a pure devotee. Lava matra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi hai. Chandramali Maharaj ki jai ho. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Actually, Maharaj, Maharaj, our Sukhakara Krishna Prabhu is very, very amazing devotee. You know, his eagerness uh, to listen to Krishna name that shows how, how much he loves Krishna Maharaj. So we are actually very blessed to have his association every day too. He joins the group every day. He gives actually Srimad Bhagavatam classes. So thank you, Prabhu, because at your age, Prabhu, you know, sometimes people think, oh, I have worked all my life and I am retired and now it's time to enjoy and go around. But Prabhuji, you are so much uh, involved towards Krishna. You are inspiration for everyone. Square Krishna Prabhu. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Bhakti Sangha. This is such a fantastic. This is a Bhakti Sangha Goloka group. Because of that, we are waiting afternoon, evening, afternoon, evening. One day we get Chandramani Maharaj, and then we get uh, Amarendra Prabhu. All every day we're getting Rasamalai and then Kheer and everything, all sweet, sweet things we're getting. And no diabetes. <laughs> Chandramani Maharaj has come to I took so much of Rasamalai. Tomorrow I'm going to get um, somebody else. So that every day, having so much still, really loudly. <laughs> so true, Prabhuji. So true. So many Matajis are working so hard behind the scenes. Yeah. So, so, so true. So true. Shama Gauri Mataji, Vinita Mataji, and so many other Matajis, not to name. So true, so true. Lava Matra Chandramani Chai Manga Sarva Siddhi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sukhara Krishna Prabhu. Pra Maharaj, there is a question from uh, Jyoti Mataji. She is asking, there are like, you know, bad days in our life. So on those bad days, how to push towards the goal, Maharaj? Some people have bad days every day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bad days are actually good days when you take shelter of Krishna because of the changes in these circumstances. There's no for a devotee, nothing is nothing is bad. It's just an, an opportunity to go deeper, to uh, become more dependent on Krishna, to free oneself from some of the material attachment. <clears throat> But this is the material world. You can't expect things to go your way. Sometimes we say there's a, a man is waiting his whole life. Sooner or later, things will go along in my way. But it never happens. It goes according to Krishna. <laughs> so you have to somehow try to fit into Krishna's plan. So whatever happens, there'll be reverses in life. Sometimes you lose you know, somebody cheat you have some some uh, faith in someone and you make some business deal and they cheat you that happened to one dear devotee with mine yeah he, he was a very nice devotee and he was just you know trying to help other people so he got into a deal with another person that was part of helping other people and the other that man just took all his money and ran away and hid behind lawyers <laughs> So, you know, he was, so what could he do? You know, it just happened. He had to deal with the situation. And sometimes you ask, well, why? That's the way it is. You have to be careful when you live in this material world. Therefore, the material world is, is uh, very precarious. Things can happen anyway. It's the way the material energy is constituted. And there are also people who are out there take advantage of others that's their whole program so just uh, remember krishna detach yourself from from the idea that you're the controller <laughs> you're not the controller you're simply a part of the activities that go on but if you remember krishna in any situation then you're in the best position to get the mercy of the Lord. Someday we're going to have to die. We're going to have to give up this body. So 
And you might consider that a calamity. It is, <laughs> in one sense. <laughs> but <laughs> that will come. So you have to be ready for that calamity, too. But the idea for if you actually practice Krishna consciousness properly, then, <clears throat> then these things are not calamities anymore. They're opportunities to, to make advancement in spiritual life. <clears throat> So it's not easy. I can speak like that. But, you know, sometimes when I go through some difficulties, I question the situation. But and then I understand that's just the way life is. And sometimes Krishna is doing that just to give you some lesson that you need to learn. He allows it to happen. Krishna it's mentioned that one of his quality is the he's the permitter. <clears throat> Not only the provider, but the permitter. He allows things to happen just so his devotee becomes more attached to him. Very true, Maharaj. Very true. Uh, also, Sri Krishna himself uh, in our Shastras in Bhagavad Gita says, Shito Sukha Dukha Da Agama Paino Nityas. That, that material, you know, happiness and distress will come and go like seasons, you know, winter and summer season. So we all know they will be there for us, Maharaj. So, but yeah, the only thing that... Uh, that That's when Krishna does it, correctly. 100% Maharaj. Thank you so much, Maharaj. We just need to chant and then, you know... Try to tolerate and then go ahead. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Maharaj also, Nina Mataji is saying, first of all, she's paying uh, her obeisances to you, Maharaj, or glory to Srila Prabhupada. She's saying that she sent you an email, Maharaj, at braj dot 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 dot. She has hidden that. <laughs> and that's uh, she's thanking you for your kind association, Nina Mataji. Okay. Yes, Maharaj. I didn't see any emails up until yesterday, unless she sent it today. Maybe she must have sent it today, Maharaj. So, Maharaj Hare Krishna. So sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Prabhuji, for passing that mes message around. Just wanted to let you know, Maharaj, your Chandra Mauli, the other one, um, it's bouncing back. So that's not working. So I have sent you an email at Brudge um, very early morning today, Maharaj. Let me know if you're getting an, another little question. Are you visiting here in Chicago or uh, like Chicagoland area? In, it's like soon in near future. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that old email is full. And so I stopped using it months ago, but people keep sending it. Mm -hmm. So... Use a new email, the one that Brudge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't get people to stop sending me things, so I just let it fill up. So now it bounces back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. I just let me know if you get a chance to read the email and respond. That's all. Thank you so much always for your wonderful association. My many, many pranams, my many humble pranams at your lotus feet, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank you. And obeisance is to you. And so nice to see you at the, uh, where was it? Saru Sangha, right? Yes, that was the, um, the 50th anniversary of Chicago Temple. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was in the last month. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Nina Mataji. Thank you for your Raj, service. Raj, Raj, Raj he's, he's also good and a moderator. So if I get Nina, I'm happy. If I get Raj, I'm happy. <laughs> else, I also am happy. But we also have different degrees of happiness. <laughs> yes, Maharaj. But certainly, Maharaj, service like Nina Mataji, it's very difficult to, to deliver. So I just learn from her and then I try to, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. And thank you, Nina Mataji. Please stay with us always in the classes. Your association is very, very important to us. Maharaj, there is Hemi Mataji Alaso. Hemi Mataji, Hare Krishna, Danva Pranam. 
धर्मत प्रणाम प्रभु धर्मत प्रणाम महाराज हरे कृष्णा आई जस्ट हैव अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट द चैंटिंग लाइक बिकॉज लाइक थ्रू द डे देयर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू बी अकम्पलिश्ड एज अ गृहस्था i uh, do have to pay attention to time so that i am able to complete my 16 rounds say you know say 8 10 rounds in the morning and then the rest of them in the evening so it, i mean that's constantly i am not a racing against time so is this am i developing a mood of like i have to complete my rounds or is it i have to do it because of my time management i i just want to have a correct understanding that is is this okay or i am just making a mood of just okay i have to finish it here here's how you do it there's two things you can apply one this is practical is that you set aside if you have if you have a particular time period where you chant say you chant from 5:30 to 7 in the morning so then you just don't do anything and whatever you whatever rounds you finish nicely you have to you leave it at home you don't try to squeeze the time period by going faster so you can get more into that time period in other words you allot the time and then you chant nicely with it and the other principle is if you have more time then just then just chant and chant and chant so when you restricted what time and you have blocks of time for different activities throughout the day just allow that time period for japa and do it nicely whatever you get done then if you have and later on in the day or whenever you find time you do the same thing put some time aside chant within that and accept whatever round she whatever number round to complete that way that we're not racing against time we're actually trying to chant nicely well chanting is an offering to krishna so if you're speeding you're telling to krishna i'm trying to get i'm trying to get out of here krishna <laughs> i want to get rid of you so i can do something else <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Very helpful. Done well for now. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you for very beautiful answers, Maharaj. And actually, thanks to all the devotees who put uh, all these beautiful questions, which certainly helps us uh, in our devotional uh, life, Maharaj. So thank you so much. Thank you, Maharaj, for your association, dear devotees. If nobody ha- has any other questions or comments, we can end the class here. Let us pay our obeisances to Maharaj. Vancha Kalapataru Bhesha Cha Kripa Sindhu Veva Cha Vajita Naam Namo 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 Bhagavatam Ki Jai Jagat Guru Shila Prabhu Pada Ji Ki Jai Sandra Moli Kupi Maharaj Ji Ki Jai 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 J